So, I'm sure we've all been there. We're flying our drones. Uh, and then a tree just pops out of nowhere. And your drone ends up crashing. Does this for a bit. And then falls down and breaks something. I actually have some footage. Here it is. So, yes, uh, my drone, it looks fine, but there's actually a crack on the front leg here. And it flies okay, but I think I'm just going to fix the leg just to be safe. Because um, I don't want that to fall from a really high height. Because that would be bad. Let's fix it. First thing you want to do is take out these four screws on the bottom here. You'll want to use a small Phillips screwdriver to take these out. Then there's two tabs on both the left and right side that hold the top on. You can use just a small slot screwdriver and pry them inward. It feels like you're going to break them, um, but they're, they just kind of clip inward and up. Then you can work at the sides. Um, just use a small slot screwdriver and guitar picks, or if you have any other small plastic picks, uh, guitar picks work. I accidentally closed the tab here again, so I'm just opening it again. clips at the front sides by where the arms are and they're really hard to get. Um, work on those before you work on the front because the front's even harder. Um, basically you just put the picks on either side of the front and then get a screwdriver in there and just wiggle it until one of them gives way and then the rest should come here. It's, it's really difficult. That's the hardest part right there. Taking off that. The rest is easy. With the top now off, you can access the two screws that hold the bottom plate on. Uh, Phillips screwdriver. Take a guitar pick and pry it open from the back. This one's a lot more easy. Then you have three screws that you have to get at. One is covered by some, I don't know, a sticker or something to probably avoid the warranty once you take it off. Um, these are all Phillips as well. Then you can take a slot screwdriver and just pry open the heat shield here. There is thermal paste on the bottom of this, so try not to touch it or smudge it. The left and right arm antennas connect on the bottom and they are different. So make sure whichever arm you're taking off, you're taking off the correct antenna. There are also different lengths, so more on that later. Uh, you might need tweezers to pull it out because it's hard to take out. Solder time. touch those uh, chips. That'd be something you don't want to do. 
once all the wires and stuff are taken out, then you can work on the arm. Uh, there's two screws here and a pin that is in the center. You can push the pin out from the top side of the drone. It just pushes out. You want to make sure that whichever position the arm is in, either folded out or in, that it's that way when you put the pin back. When you take it out, you can double check that it's the right one and the wires are the same length. Yeah, you just want to make sure everything's similar. With the arm in the folded position, it's easy because the leg from the back holds it in place and you can just push in the pin. As you push it in, it'll turn, so you want to start kind of not centered, and then the spring will just kind of move as you push it down. Next, put the screws on, and you want to test that it works. So that is correct. Then want to put the antenna wires through down to the bottom of the drone through where you took it out from. This just pops back into the antenna connection. It takes a while. Solder time. Oh boy, that was terrible. Hey, that was better. Beautiful. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's fixing it. Nice. Then you can put the heat shield back on. Screws back in. Uh, then you can put the propellers on because it needs propellers. Duh. We are connected. No GPS. Okay. There we go. And take off. And it works. Good. Time to land. Nice. Now that it works, I'm gonna put the case on. Basically just uh, snap everything back together. Uh, that's all there is to it. I might want to test that the buttons work. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and screws. Put them in too.
let's uh, test it to see if it flies. It worked. Very good. And cut. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video or learned something new, please hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this that I put on my channel, just random videos, I guess, uh, hit that subscribe button. See ya. That was probably a good one.